Taylor Swift may have a past rep for her famous relationships, but what we really should be focusing on is her impressive real estate portfolio. With penthouses, mansions, and beach abodes from coast to coast, T-Swift's homes are enough to make anyone jealous. And it's said her properties are worth a total of $80 million or more. We're gonna take a look at where the star calls home. So in the words of Taylor herself, are you ready for it? In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Taylor Swift is a singer-songwriter whose music and songwriting, which is usually inspired by her personal experiences, has received a ton of praise over the years. Not only is Taylor one of the best-selling music artists of our time, she's also one of the world's highest paid celebrities with an estimated net worth of about $365 million. T Swift is also a queen of reinventing herself, so it should come as no surprise, her real estate portfolio is similar. She's lived in cool California homes to sprawling New York City penthouses and everywhere in between, but no matter the home, she's never gone out of style. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, bringing you another exclusive host tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one checking out the epic real estate of Taylor Swift. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. For our first stop, let's check out New York City, where T Swift basically purchased an entire block for $47.7 million. Her first spot in the big city was made back in 2014 when she bought two neighboring penthouses in the Tribeca neighborhood for $19.95 million. Then in 2018, Taylor also snagged the second floor complex in the same building for almost $10 million, which spans over 3,500 square feet of space. The Tribeca duplex has a beautiful design to the interiors by the looks of it, and there were amazing features like an indoor pool. The master suite here boasts floor to ceiling windows with Manhattan city views, but we can see each bedroom actually had its very own charm and unique furnishings. I love the old world touches throughout this space, which we can see in the chandeliers, headboards, and more. The informal dining room also has full walls of windows on one side, while there's also a pass-through window to the attached kitchen, which offers stainless steel appliances. Elsewhere, there's a double-height living room with a fireplace and ornate chandelier, and a cozier den has yet another fireplace and beam ceilings overhead. Also in 2017, Taylor bought a 100-year-old four-level townhouse next door for $18 million, which boasted features like a gym, a spa, antique wide plank wood floors, and a planted terrace with a Japanese paper glass wall. The townhouse boasted seven bedrooms and six baths in total, with three of the bedrooms located in a next door apartment, which is useful for Taylor's staff or guests. The townhouse is designed by famed architect Leopoldo Rosati, and offers a lot of wood paneling, modern vibes, and natural light throughout. A large and open living room has skylights up above, while the kitchen is compact yet chic, comprised of stainless steel appliances and dark wood. The bedrooms were also spacious with plenty of windows and views of the city, and elsewhere in the residence there were features like a home movie theater and rooftop patio. Despite how impressive Taylor's Tribeca compound is, she's since submitted plenty of permits for over $1 million in renovations. You already know she's done some work to the place. When Taylor needs a getaway, she has her Rhode Island mansion to escape to, which she reportedly snagged in an all-cash deal for $17.75 million. The property sits on five acres of land with over 700 feet of beachfront, not to mention it's on the highest point in Watch Hill, giving T-Swift amazing views of the water. The quiet neighborhood isn't a huge spot for most celebrities, but that may have been a draw for Taylor to get some much-needed privacy. It's rumored that her song, The Last Great American Dynasty, was actually inspired by her Watch Hill property. Let me explain. The song details the previous owners of the estate, especially Rebecca Harkness, who was the widow of Standard Oil heir William Hill Harkness. This was with whom she picked out a home and called in Holiday House, shortly before he passed away in 1957. Also according to Taylor's song, after the four-story home was occupied by Rebecca and Woman with Madness, Their Men and Bad Habits, 
It was left empty for 50 years before the singer eventually purchased it. She then goes on to sing, who knows, if I'd never showed up, what could have been? Either way, the Rhode Island estate spends 12,000 square feet inside with a beds, nine baths, and eight fireplaces throughout. Not to mention plenty of space for all her guests when she throws her summer parties. The interior of the home has many period features as you might expect from a 1930s estate such as the fireplaces, as well as hardwood floors, crown moldings, and two kitchens including a service kitchen. We can tell the generous living spaces come in handy as Taylor has been known to entertain her fellow artists and models at the home. Most notably, her famed 4th of July parties where a ton of photos have been posted to Instagram in the past, showing off her kitchens, common rooms, and the many terraces. Being a Nashville native, of course, T-Swift also owns property here. One of her first ever real estate purchases was in 2009 when she bought a penthouse on Nashville's Music Row for $1.9 million, which spans over 3,200 square feet of space. It's a corner unit with three bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms over two levels. Penthouse is located at the Adelicia Complex and offers soaring ceilings and plenty of floor-to-ceiling windows overlooking the city views. Other amenities in the building itself include a heated Olympic-length pool, gym, and a personal trainer. Not to mention, when we've caught glimpses inside Taylor's apartment, here the design was surprisingly unique. It was playful and girly with vibrant splashes of color. Taylor also owns another estate in Nashville, her mansion in the Forest Hills neighborhood. The Greek Revival estate was built in 1934 by the ambassador to Denmark at the time, and the main home spans 5,600 square feet with four beds and four baths. Known as the Northumberland Estate, Taylor snagged the property in 2011 for $2.5 million, but these days, it would likely be worth double. The home includes vaulted ceilings, marble fireplaces, and classic touches throughout, while outside you'll find a pool and a detached 2,000 square foot guest house. Taylor loves spending time in Nashville as it's also where she launched her music career, and she claims to love the laid back vibe and being able to go out to the store without swarms of paparazzi. While T Swift spends much of her time on the East Coast, she still has an LA pad to retreat to. In 2018, Taylor sold two of her properties in Beverly Hills, a Cape Cod style cottage for $4 million and a smaller single story guest house property for just under $3 million. However, she did hang on to one West Coast property, a 1934 Georgian Revival estate she bought for $25 million back in 2015. This mansion formerly belonged to Hollywood producer Samuel Goldwyn until Taylor purchased it and it spans 10,982 square feet of space. Inside, this home boasts seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, as well as an old Hollywood vibe throughout. Some features include a gorgeous dining room where Sam Goldwyn and his wife used to host star-studded dinner parties with other legends like Charlie Chaplin and Clark Gable, as well as a private screening room as you'd expect. On the grounds of the estate, there's a pool, cabana, tennis court, covered patio, and plenty of gardens. Most recently, T Swift gained approval from the Beverly Hills Cultural Heritage Commission to turn the estate into a historic landmark, and she started to restore it after this. All right, now we've taken a look at Taylor Swift's so amazing real estate, so I think that brings this house tour to an end. We got to look at her multiple New York City properties she's basically combined into one. Her Rhode Island vacation mansion, Nashville home, and more. It's so hard to choose a favorite. I love the triplex in New York City that had the indoor pool and the vintage designed rooms, as well as the Rhode Island vacation mansion and the Hollywood estate. All of them had such charm and personality. I really can't choose a favorite. All I can say is that T-Swift has got some amazing taste in homes. Be sure to let me know which of her multiple mansions you guys would choose to live in most of all down in the comments. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!